Hey y'all, thanks for checking back with me. I'm Carlos and today's video is a follow-up to not only the Truff hot sauce video and if you haven't seen that make sure you check that out first and this is a follow-up to the air fried burgers. What I have here are two burgers that I cut in half. Probably could do this with one burger and cut it in half and I put Truff hot sauce on one and I put some Heim 57 on the other. Now I know this is comparing apples and oranges but why can't fruit be compared right? So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna do a bite of this Truff hot sauce and we're gonna do a bite of this Heinz 57. And we're just gonna compare the differences between popular sauce that you can get in the store. It's kind of the equivalent of A1 and only sold in certain stores and online, Truff hot sauce. So the Truff hot sauce, like I said, go ahead and check that out. My other video, you can see all about it. So the first thing you'll notice right away with the Heinz 57 sauce Look how it sits on top of the burger. It's not actually pulling into the burger. It's not adding flavor to the bun. It's just sitting on top because it's so thick. There's no way that you're gonna be able to taste anything other than that sauce unless you go really, really light with it. But I did this on purpose that way you could see just how different it is going from the steak sauce that we put on this burger to the truff sauce. Now the truff sauce consistency, it is a little bit thinner, but look how it's soaking into the burger already. I put some in the bun. You can see how it nice and evenly went into the bun. That you can still see it's kind of clumped and it's not soaking into the bun. It's just the surface of it got covered when I put the sauce on. So between the two, you can already tell the difference that one is kind of adding flavor. The other is just kind of sitting there supplementing flavor and you're only going to get a taste of that sauce. So let's get a taste and let's go through what I'm, what I'm tasting as I'm biting into it. Let's start with the 57. Again, it's just sitting right on top. It's not soaking into the burger. This isn't really gonna give me an added flavor. This is just gonna give me Heinz 57 on a burger. Now don't get me wrong, Heinz 57 does taste good. It's got a little tang to it. It's not hot sauce. But as you can see, nothing's soaking into that burger at all. It's just laying right on top. So with the Heinz 57, if you want to throw it on a steak you want to put it on your burger it's fine but if you want something that's going to add a little bit of heat but not too much some nice flavor a little smoothness to your burger in comes the truff hot sauce so even since i just showed you it was soaking into that burger it's pretty much almost away from that surface of the meat and it's gone into the burger so let's do a bite of that mm. Probably should have took a smaller bite. Interestingly enough, as I took that bite into the burger, you can see it's kind of soaked into the meat a little bit, but the burger actually broke apart a little bit. And you can see it's kind of pulled into the beef. So it's not just resting on top of the burger, it's actually soaking in a little bit. So you might be able to put this on top of your burger once you've already pulled it out of the air fryer or if you're grilling it and let it sit for a minute that way the inside of that burger can finish cooking, but also you can let that sauce rest. So this paired with some pepper jack cheese, amazing. And then you don't have all the fat and all the grease dripped all the way out of it into the drip pan of the air fryer. And you're just left with this juicy burger and it's delicious. Mm -mm -mm. So even that bite, you can see it's, it's kind of pulling through into the meat. Okay. Just a quick comparison, the Heinz 57, that flavor, it was really overwhelming. And then after I swallowed that bite and moved on to the truff, it was gone. There's no remnants of that Heinz 57 afterwards. You just kind of eat it, you swallow it, it's gone, and you don't have that flavor anymore. The truff hot sauce, it's nice and smooth. And as you're eating the burger, you're getting that little, little tiny touch of heat as you're eating it but it's also very smooth it's very rich but it's not overpowering at all and you're still tasting the burgers like even right now i can still taste the truff and even though there's nothing in my mouth there's no heat there's no fire it's just really good hot sauce they do have the hotter truff hot sauce you can get that that will leave a little bit of heat with you but for the most part that heat kind of goes away after you swallow the food so give it a try but for me truff hot sauce is going on my burgers from now on 
Check out my other videos, like I said. Don't forget to like this video. Subscribe if you haven't already. And uh, leave me some comments down below. Let me know what you uh, put on your burger and how you make them. Thanks a lot. I'll see you all in the next one.